Yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is movie night. And we are here to do a live reaction to Nightmare Alley on HBO Max. If you have a subscription, it is free. And you can watch along. So far, this movie is bizarre but interesting it stars a lot of people um tony collette is one person i recognize um bradley cooper is another one i, I think that's his name bradley cooper <coughs> i'm gonna tell you because i recognize the psychiatrist but i don't know her name off the top of my head Kate Blanchett. She's in it. Yeah, his name Brad, Bradley Cooper, Tony Collette, uh, the guy who played in Hellboy, um, Ron Perlman. He's in it. The none other infamous William Defoe. He in it. It's a lot of people in this um, movie. It is visually nice. The first half of the movie is in a circus. It's based in the 40s. It's about Bradley Cooper's character, which is Stanley Carlisle. He's a drifter. He needs work. He just so happens to come upon the circus. Long story short, it's a freak show. It's illegal. But he just so happens to pick up trips, tricks and tips from... Tony Collette's character, Madam Zena's husband, Pete, who was an alcoholic and he died from an overdose on alcohol poisoning, basically, due to Stanley get, giving him a bottle. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, long story short, I'm trying to keep it simple so we can get to the movie. Um, He dies, and it's a book. And in that book, it reveals how to basically fake your way into reading people or reading minds or being psychic, um, which is basically knowing how to read the room, read people, as well as he works with the girl that he fell in love with at the circus named Molly, and he ended up marrying her. She's his assistant, so he throws signals to her, blah, blah, blah. He can guess what's going on, guess what's in your purse, all this stuff. Kate Blanchett plays a lady named, I think, Lily. Yeah, Lily Ritter. She's a psychiatrist. And she peeped game. She tried to expose him. He played good. She ended up following for him. Now they're having a whole affair. And she been setting him up. Now we are... Let me get back to the movie. This movie is pretty lengthy, too. From beginning to end, it's two hours and 30 minutes exact. So, a lot going on. So, Stanley, it's two years later. Even though we don't know what two years later it is, we just know it's in the 40s decade because of the background and everything and how it's set up. The look, you know of the movie they're in new york and stanley has taken off with the information that he learned in the book and he running his own little scam basically his own little scon con on rich people but that lady is trying to get him to do con on other people that she knows so the truth is your kind I'm at the hour and 20 minute mark. You were 12 years Let's go. Stuff's not all for me. What's that? It's not like wood alcohol. You drank wood alcohol? No, not really, not really. No. It's that word again. Please come down. I, uh, it's a guy that I knew. 
He turned up on her when our kid he kicked off. What are you thinking about now? <laughs> it makes no sense. Take your time. Pianos. <laughs> Elaborate. He got a lot of trauma going on. Let me tell you, Stanley. He he kind of in a way, even though he shouldn't be sleeping with the lady, he should still be seeing her as a psychiatrist because he need help. It is revealed he does have daddy issues, so I don't know what happened with his dad. Friend of my folks, he was in Barbara. How old was the man at the carnival? The one who died? What did you say his name was? I didn't, I didn't think it was. Humphreys took my mother away because my father wasn't man enough to hold on to her, all right? Bible stuff, they could put themselves, tall tales about Jesus and the happy afterlife. What do you say? I'm a hustler, I know it. I'm on the make and I know it. Get it? I'm nothing like my own man, and I never will be. Nothing. That word again. We're going to work on that. She's intense. And Zena then came there to see them. They must be retired from the circus. Two plates of room service. Why she called you? What? 
No, she didn't tell me. No, it's all in the cards. Well, it's safe for the child, too. It's fine. Then you can. Free card question will take two seconds. Oh, blood. Is everything a magic show or a magic trick in this movie? Impending danger. An urgent choice. Now, Stanton, this is the last card. To decree. You turn it, you're going to find out what's coming to you. Oh, Lord. I don't know about that. I fixed it. I fixed it. That's not how it works. Swindling these people. When you love. This poor lady. <laughs> so it's this lady. She's rich. I but and she lost her son. And she actually sent the psychiatrist to test him at his show. That's how he got all in cahoots. Because they want to contact their dead son. Now realizing that he's not clairvoyant for real. Mm -mm -mm. What's that? Your half. That's split 50-50. Not interested. I got what I wanted. But you should have seen him. My God. I think he'll be talking about that the rest of his life. I think every time they tell it, it'll just get better and better, bigger and bigger. A toast then to your success. Uh, he asked me. And the psychiatrist like, knows. One of his friends. Who might that be? He can say, but I'm considering it. I'll tell you what, we gotta say. I do. To keep this for me, I don't want Molly know about it anymore. I'll just keep it for a few days. If you change your mind, we'll split the 50 50. If not, I'll keep it. You deeply trust her, huh? You can me. Right? Don't say. Yes. 
Yeah, cause he's greedy and he want to make all this money off of y'all scam. Snowball real quick. Nah. An intense requirement. Dealing with Grindel has consequences. Now the lady who he just talked about with the son then hooked him up with some crazy patient named Grindel. in prison. Hands up. Turn around. I need your watch and your ring. Matters, friend. What was that? Did you say please? Say so. Cause he is lying, but they be knowing how to beat him sometimes. I done seen enough now, more to know. Brief as you can. What is your name? Stanton Carlisle. What year are we in? 1941. Great, okay. thank you. We finally know what, what year it is. Today? <laughs> 1941. Wednesday, I think. Who's the president of the United States? He failing. Can you read minds? Yes, I can. Under the right circumstances. Brief. Keep your answers brief, please. 
Now, oh, I use contact with the Beyond. Before we go on, there's a Okay, it was good. Excuse me, based on the reaction they had, it, they didn't say it was bad. But it's in theaters only, right? It's not on no streaming apps, I don't believe. Yes, I have seen Tremors before. I've seen all of them. Even the ones that went straight to TV. Your foot slips. They both fall. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. I mean, this guy's, uh, he's real deep on this poop dog. Copy of their key. What you need to know is if you just please the right people, the world closes in on you very, very fast. go through with it then.
Finally. I mean, his way is gonna catch up with him one way or the other. Either he gonna get killed, or he everybody gonna leave him, and he gonna become a drifter again. But either way, I don't foresee things being good for Stanton at all. Like, I don't see this movie having, like, a happy ending. I'll say that. I don't. But it is slow, let me tell you. It could pick up the pace at some point. So I wanted to know what impression you got from her. The girl that uh, you sensed during the test. I didn't see her. She didn't even see her last. But by that, I mean she could. Well, it was very brief, uh, Mr. Bingle. Uh, Ezra, please. I sensed profound sadness and regret. She loved you. And that boy, that baby boy. sleep at night. Uh, Apparently he can't though from what I'm watching. Cause you, I mean, you know you playing with people's emotions. Channeling in on they love, they dead, they loved ones. Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. It is rest in peace for a reason. I'm just saying. Agree to try to make this woman appear to him. You have to work hard spiritually. Give me one have a chance to see you for Listen, I have more money than I will ever need. But I hope you think you could buy that. So, that's to be cool. But well, I know I can. Gave him the money. So now he gotta do it. This is not gonna end well. Night. Keep Ezra on his feet. Taking prayer or something. He'll stay put. Yeah. 
lot of her hands and dress. Or shocking the image. The lesson plan to Ezra will be able to examine it. He gonna get Molly to play that lady dead, that man dead wife? Mm, mm, mm. -mm. He said he would never start drinking. Now nah, he didn't start it. I believe to save their marriage. I think you really loved her, Stan. You can see that, can't you? And he want to play with All this man. Unfortunately, it doesn't because he's too blinded by the money. Faking it till you make it. That's the gist of this movie. Okay. 
Okay. Where are you going? I gotta go get everyone. This don't seem like it's gonna turn out right. to be with her son so bad and because he told them they would be in the afterlife she didn't murder her husband and herself dear Stan by the time you read this I'll be used to I won't do what you want me to I can't I loved you the best I can as much as oh, I can oh Molly will and I know now it will never be enough Wow. So now who he gonna get to play Molly? I mean, not play Molly. Play Dory. Wow. As much as the truth hurts, I need it. about the good. Molly, I'll just try to get the inside track on her because you don't want me to get this book show. That's why I was sneaking around on her. Just mind your business. Oh, not in the men's bathroom, though. Mm. This is last time I'm going to say. And every day's Christmas after that. I'm sure the whole world and everything in it. I'm scared, Stan. I'm scared, too, Molly. I'm scared every day of my life. I'm so scared sometimes I can't even breathe. But I fight it, Molly. I fight it. That's the only way I've survived. Don't do it, Molly. Don't do it. Sometimes you don't see the light until you cross it. I cross it. I know that now. Oh, everybody's with me. She gonna do it. She already feeling sorry. Mm, mm, mm. Now, what's gonna happen if something happens to Molly?
Man, this movie is so slow, but suspenseful. A lot of tension. Perhaps because of the, the nature of what we're doing tonight, we better be for him alone. Place no blame on you, and I want you to know that. But I think we should go back inside. You asked me, hurt my soul, from sin. That's great. I haven't done that. You're gonna do it now. You're gonna purge your soul and invoke her forgiveness. I've done things that I've never told anyone about. You're gonna tell her now. No, I can't. Close your eyes. I can't. Be still. Look, man, the psychiatrist already told you this man is unstable and unpredictable. He want to push it to the limit. Breaking character. Wow. It's gonna go south real fast. minutes of the video for the movie for it to start to take off and pick up. Can't go back to the you just killed two men in front of her. You think she really finna just sit here and just... we approach the ending of Nightmare Alley, let me just explain some things. So Nightmare Alley is an analogy to where, like a skid row, okay, where all the junkies hang out at. They call 
junkies in this movie geeks um, because of the addiction to opium that they make, well, they force them. They find drunks, people who are like really, really um, dealing with alcohol syndrome because they drink so much. Um, they go, the circus that he worked for, the man, William Defoe's character, he picks him, they, he picks up people like, men like that and starve them of their alcohol, which basically makes them go crazy. You know, they're going through withdrawals. And then he feeds them with opium. So they got a new addiction now. It's ridiculous. All for them to just get paid at city that they stop through with this freak show of a circus that they have. So, that is what Nightmare Alley is. He said he would never start drinking. I remember that. I feel like that's a big change to see him now that he didn't start drinking and his life is spiraling down hill fast. She been recording these sessions. cigarettes in this movie. You gave me nice. My secretary allowed you in. I did everything I could, but it seems you've made transfers to both your mistress and your mother. The same way with everybody in this movie. Karma's a bitch. And can be cold hearted at that. Also, the man you claim to have killed at the carnival. What? Why are you doing this? You don't even care about the money. <laughs> Such a disappointment. Stand high above the common man. You're nothing but an okay with straight teeth. You think you can take it easily? You're so lucky. You can't be the signs. Oh, she's from the kill stand? Oh. on that? Ugh, she just shot his ear off. Yes, yes, security. I need help. There's a man, a patient of mine. Come immediately. Oh. 
she is psychotic. More of a sociopath, but wow, she definitely does not need. To, she does not need to be treating anybody. to alcohol. Oh, his ear shot off. Wife that left him. He got that bad. a bad movie but it could have picked up a lot sooner let me tell you a slow burner but I said it was interesting seven and a half out of ten for all the actors and actresses that are in this movie. They did a good job for their character portrayals. It's just the pacing of the movie is so slow. And it's quite predictable what's going to happen. But it's like It's almost brutal to watch, you know, because the entire time it has this tone of just high tension because, you know, he gets himself in these situations where you question, okay, is he going to make it out? Is he going to make it out? Because it's almost like that catch me if you can type feel to it, you know? Um... He's cynical and sadistic. I don't know, maybe something happened to him as a child, like the lady said, but he killed his own father. Mm. Well, I'm going to close it out there. If you guys want to check it out, HBO Max, Nightmare Alley, a whole lineup of great A actors and actresses in this movie you will recognize. Like I said, you might want to take some time to watch this when you've, you know, done everything. You ran your errands, you clean your house like this. Knock out what you need to. This is long. But worth the watch. I recommend it. Two hours and 30 minutes. You can make it a date night movie. Wouldn't really too much recommend it for Valentine's weekend. Your date might fall asleep. I'm just saying. Slow burn. Okay. I'm out of here, you guys. Until the next reaction. I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for joining me here. Hit the like button for your girl. So we can reach more people. And we are one subscriber, y'all. One subscriber away from hitting our 250 mark of subscribers on the channel. Halfway of our 500 that we are ultimately trying to achieve. So thank you again for all your support here on the channel. And have a good night. Peace. Hey.